Hi, it's Jack Hackett here. The weather's turned warm here, finally, and so I'm doing a bit of work outside today. You might hear a bit of bird life in the background. Um, this week I did something that I've never done before, and that was facilitate a virtual workshop. And, you know, it went well, but I think there's room for improvement. And so today in my Friday thought, I thought I'd reach out to you to you and to see if anyone has that kind of expertise and whether you have any tips that you'd be prepared to pass on to me and others about facilitating virtual workshops. So just to give you a sense of the context, it's, this was a project for a client and they were uh, wanting to conduct um, as broad a consultation process as possible to set direction for a, an existing project going into its next strategic phase, a statewide program. And so um, we didn't have the budget to uh, do a roadshow of um, workshops, face-to-face -face workshops across the state. So we ran two very large face-to-face -face, um, metropolitan uh, workshops and decided to do two virtual uh, workshops to get um, feedback from uh, and input from people across the state in rural and remote sites. So we held the first one of them this week and um, as I said while it went really well I think there were things that we could probably improve on. So we could do fairly similar processes. We made modifications to the, to the timing, we made it a much shorter workshop and to some of the processes but most of the processes were pretty similar. You know we could have um, uh, some presentations and we had a uh, you know, fairly standard workshop process whereby people were uh, discussing some of the key issues at their sites and then we would have a sort of feedback session where people could feedback um, the main points that had come up for their, for their site. Um, but what I found out was, uh, and I hadn't realised this, was I wasn't really able to facilitate as such, not in terms of what I would normally do. So what I mean by that is, I mean, of course I kept things on track and it all went or ran very smoothly and, uh, and all the rest of it. But if you've worked with that technology, you'll know that it's, it can be quite clunky. And so what happens is there's, you know, the site that's talking is the site that the camera focuses on and everyone sees that site you know, giving their feedback for example and you can't interrupt, you can't talk over so um, you have to really kind of wait until that site is finished before you move on to the next site to talk otherwise there's a delay, people, you know, it's like talking over someone and they say, oh no, you go and then there's a big delay and then there's another anyway, we managed that very well because we knew, we have anticipated that and of course the rural people had worked with it before but what it, went from, what it meant for me was I couldn't do a lot of the things I usually do you know, normally when I'm facilitating and taking those feedback sessions, you know, I'm doing things like I'm acknowledging the comments, I'm um, asking questions of clarification, asking them to give me give us more so we get a better understanding. I might start to join the dots between things that have been said, that kind of thing. And because I couldn't do that, I had to kind of stay silent, um, you know, while all that conversation was going on. And um, I couldn't. I didn't feel connected enough to the participants to know or engage whether things were going really well or not for them. So it was an interesting process for me. I mean, we we asked for feedback, and we've had some positive feedback uh, from people, and we've asked them also to email us and tell us if they think there are other things we could be doing because we've got another one next week. Um, but yeah, it was an interesting experience for me, and so I thought I'd reach out and see. Have you had that kind of experience? Have you facilitated those virtual workshops? And, and how can the role of the facilitator be modified to make it a better experience for everyone? So if you've got any thoughts, um, feel free to uh, put them into the comments box. I'd really appreciate it. And I hope you have a good Friday.